hey book world i am so excited to see you today i have something really awesome i want to talk about now we know that instagram is so essential to an author's marketing strategy and it's really great because it's such an interactive platform because we get to be visual because we get to be interactive it really helps your fans to engage with your brands because they're seeing bits and pieces into your world but here's the thing instagram is an app. It's made exclusively for your phone, which means it can get a little hard to use because we don't have the freedom of jumping on our laptop and interacting through the platform through our laptop. Typing with your fingers can be really slow, can't it? I know for me personally, I would much prefer to be able to jump on the web page on my laptop than to go through an app and have to type everything with my thumbs. I'm a lot faster when I can use all 10 fingers, don't you think? So today I wanted to talk to you about something that is actually making my life a little bit easier because I can do some really cool things with Instagram through my laptop. Now, this does not change much about the way that I'm interacting through the platform, but it does help me out. Now, my main goal in showing you this today is because I wanna discuss the potential for the analytics that you can get out of this platform that I'm going to be showing you. Until this point, we really haven't had a lot of ability to jump on to the app and get analytics for our posts. You would have to go through and by hand, figure everything out yourself. Through this site that I'm going to be showing you in just a second, you will be able to see your analytics at a glance. It makes it so easy to see who is commenting, what they're saying, how people are interacting with your posts, and it shows you the great things about what you're posting, how many times you're posting a specific hashtag, which hashtags are working, what's going well. You definitely want to check out this site because it's going to change the way that you interact with your Instagram and you don't have to get on the app on your phone every single day. So you're ready to learn about what this really cool addition to Instagram is? I am thrilled to show you this. This has actually been recently introduced to me and it's going to change the way that you're working with your Instagram. So let's take a look. This is a website called Websta. Dot me. That's W-E-B-S-T-A dot me. And if you take a look here, we've got some really cool things that we are seeing. Now, if you look at the top of my page, you can see this is my Reading Transforms platform. You can see how many posts I have, followers, how many people I'm following. It's got everything that my typical Instagram has, but it's laid it out in a bigger format so that I can see it. Now, if you look right here, you can kind of see it's showing me everything that I've posted. So here we go. I'm just going to scroll through a couple of these things just so you can see. It's showing me the comments I've put on there. It's showing me what people have said. It shows me how many favorites I've gotten and how many comments I've gotten. So let's take a look at how this works. Let me scroll back up to the top. Now this one I just posted 32 minutes ago. 32 minutes ago, I posted this picture. I put my little words there. I put my hashtags. And I've gotten five of my little hearts here, but no comments yet. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. You can kind of see, actually, let me look right here. You've got the list form. You've got the grid of three. You've got the four grid. And you've got the six grid. So you can kind of see the differences. It shows you how many comments and how many favorites you've gotten. We're just going to run through the list because that's easiest for us to see right now. So let me scroll down to this one. This I posted 19 hours ago. I've got 20 of my little favorite hearts and I've got four comments. So let me click on load comments here. And let's see, we've got Pintip Dunn saying, interesting, I never thought about an elevator pitch bio before, but it makes a lot of sense. I've got Lisa Kiavari, who likes my cards. Thanks, Lisa. I've got Clara Kenzie, who says, nice. So let's talk about how I can now interact with these people through Webster. You can see I've got this nice little box here. I can type whatever I want, and I can do it directly from my keyboard. So look at that. And I, all I would have to do is hit submit. There's a place where I can get my my little uh, emojis here directly from my phone. 
so I can really make it look like I'm doing it directly from my phone. Now if I'm looking here, I can click the reply button and it pops their name right in there so I can reply directly to them. So thanks. Check that out and submit. And boom, right there, done. I can trash a comment if I don't like it, but I like all these people, so let's let's keep it right there. So I'm going to click on Lissa and I would write thanks so much. I love them too. They're so cute. FYI, if you guys happen to like my cards, I tend to get them from places like Target and uh, Michaels and AC Warren, the craft stores and things like that. So if you're looking for those, that's where you can find those. Pin tip, yes. So it is so important to have an elevator pitch bio ready because then you never stumble over your words when people ask you questions. Love it. And look at that. I'm just replying directly to the people from here. I can type it on my computer and I'm not having to type out these long answers over my phone. It makes life so much easier for me. So then I can scroll through. I can see I still have my emojis up. If I click that it goes away. I can go through, I can load all of my comments. So check that out. Lisa Brown Roberts. We're uh we're doing a party for her, so if you want to come hang out with that, I've got the link right in my thing right here. And oh that helps too because if you are and we're gonna talk about this in a few minutes, if you are on other people's pages looking at their things and they have links in their comments that you can't usually click on in Instagram. All you got to do is copy and paste it and look how much easier that makes your life. So we've got all of these people commenting on our pictures and all I have to do is click my reply button and boom, there we go. So I can go back as far as I need to. I'm going to scroll back up to the top and we're going to look at our analytics. So if we're up at the top, you can see recent posts here and again, we've got the lists and the grids and then I can click on analytics. Well, boom, here are my analytics. These are the things that I cannot get on my Instagram page. So right now I have 601 posts. Woohoo, yay me. I am rocking this out. I have my followers and my following. Here's my engagement rate for my last 20 photos. So they're giving me analytics for my last 20 photos. These are not analytics for everything you've always posted, but it is for the most recent images. So here we go. My engagement rate, that's really good, I would say. Yay me. I've got my total likes and I've got my total comments. And so down below that, we've got my most liked posts so we can see what's important to my fans. All of a sudden, I know what they like and what they're interacting with. This is going to help me to know what to post more of. So it looks like quotes are pretty good for me. When my authors are giving me quotes and I am posting them on my page, people like that. Check that out. I also have my articles, my resource articles to go with RTTV. So the lessons that I'm teaching and the articles that go with them, those are getting good interactions. People are also liking the book images I post. So if you've been with me from the start, you know I teach book bloggers and authors how to photograph their books to market the books. Um, and people really like these bookstagram style posts. So then over here, we've got my most commented posts. So what are people talking about? Well, I've posted, um, this is a screen grab of my Facebook page when I did a Facebook Live broadcast. That one's gotten a little, lot of interaction. My party stuff and my, my quote stuff, they've gotten a lot of comments from people. So that I can scroll down and check this out, it's got my popular tags. These are the most popular hashtags that I have used with my most recent 20 images. So what is it that I tag a lot? Well, take a look. It shows me how many times I've shown these things and how popular these are. So check that out. You can find out what, you've wor what you're using and what is working, which is really, really nice. You can scroll down and check out the filters and hashtags. So this is, ooh, check that out. It lights things up. It tells you how often I'm using these. 
so you can take a look at that. And then it brings us down to their information here. You definitely want to check that out. Right now, this program is totally free. There is a pricing button that you can click on, but it keeps taking you back to this page. So right now they are, if you take a look, uh, doing ongoing website maintenance. I know it was down for a few days. This is right after Instagram Stories launched, so I'm assuming it probably has something to do with that. Um, but right now it is totally free to you. I do not know what their pricing options are or if that will change in the future, but this is what we have to work with. Totally free analytics for your Instagram page. It tells you exactly what you're doing and what is working. And this is going to change the way that you interact with your Instagram and how you're using it in your marketing strategy. So now let's jump over to this sidebar here. We have been in my post this whole time, but I want to look further. So let's click on followers. When I click on followers, it is going to take me to a page to show me all of the people who are following me. If I wanted to get in there and find out who these people are and what these people are doing, this would be the page because it lays it all out right in front of me. All I have to do is click on their page and it's going to show me who's following them, what they're posting, what's important to them. Check out all of those people. I'm also going to click on followings. Now I can do that from over here or over here. I'm just going to click on it here. These are the people that I am following. Now if I want to jump in and take a look at these people and what they're doing, all I would have to do is click on their page and it would take me there and I'm going to do that for you as soon as this finishes loading. There we go. Sorry, a little bit on the slow side. So let's just hang out, take a look here and let's click on this one. This is my other Instagram page. So yay me. Um, this is exclusively for my books so if you take a look here actually I think I'll go with the three grid. It's going to go slowly. This is ex exclusively for my books and I do this with my stylized images and I just did that because it was driving me nuts that I was teaching how to photograph books but they weren't all in my style because I teach in a whole bunch of different styles so this is where I wanted to put stuff to kind of show off my style. So let me just click on this one right here and it's going to take me to that particular picture and I can see what this account has posted, what this account wrote, which would be me, and then I can click on this box here and I can type in whatever I feel like typing in. So this is such a stunning image, love the blue tones. And look at that, all I have to do is click submit, I could type in whatever I wanted. If I wanted a long post, I could type that in here. If I wanted an emoji, look at that, I can click on my emojis and I could scroll through and click on the little heart man and I could submit it. Just like that, it is posted for me and it was so incredibly easy. So this is an incredible platform, this webstud.me website, because it gives you analytics. Analytics are so, so important to knowing what you are doing and what you are doing well, and knowing what you're not doing well. It helps you to know what your fans like and what they're interacting with and what is working for you. It also lets you interact with people in an easier way because you can go and like their photos and you can comment on their photos easier than if you were typing on your phone. So I highly recommend Webster.me. Like I said, I am newer to this and I know that they just did an update and that they are currently still updating their site. But this is going to be an incredible resource for you because it is so easy to use. It lets you go through, see your posts, see the comments, see the likes. It lets you interact with people. It lets you check out their pages. And it's all done directly from your laptop. This is not an app on your phone. This is a website in which you can use to go through your Instagram. Is it limited? Yes. You cannot do everything you can do on the phone. And you cannot post from here. But it does let you interact. It lets you go through your analytics. It lets you go through your comments and your likes. It lets you go through your fans' pages. And it lets you comment 
directly from your computer, which is going to save your fingers a lot of time. So I highly recommend Websta. Super easy to use, and right now it is totally free. It is completely free to you. All you have to do is jump on Websta.me and sign up. It is totally free, and you get this priceless analytic information that's going to help you plan your strategy so much better. So thank you guys for joining me today. I am K.M. Robinson of K.M. Robinson Photography and Reading Transforms. And if you've liked this tutorial, make sure you're jumping on to www.readingtransforms.com because we have an incredible number of tutorials for authors who are planning their marketing strategies and working on their author branding. We have a series of YouTube tutorials very much like this that will help you work on your marketing strategies, on how to create imagery and graphics to use in your marketing, how to brand yourself. We also have RTTV, which is our weekly live broadcast show, which takes place on Saturday evenings at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we are live teaching you for mm, about an hour every night uh, on those Saturday nights. We have new, brand new lessons about your marketing strategy. We help you with your social media. We work on your branding. It's incredible. And we bring on um, fantastic book world professionals to teach you. So it's not just me teaching. We bring on editors. We bring on lawyers. We bring on acquisitions people. We bring on publishers. And we talk about the things that are relevant to you and your author journey. We want to help you. So we have RTTV that you can access. We also have our resource uh, articles on our resource page on our website as well as some incredible communities that you can join and learn and be supported every single day by me by book world professionals and by authors just like you so I hope we will see you there make sure you are checking out www.readingtransforms.com 